In this video, I'll show you how to enable multiple currency support in your WooCommerce store. Let's get straight into it. Okay, so for example, here we've got a currency switcher here and we can go ahead and change the currency of this particular product. We can enable live currency exchange rate. Okay, and we can also place this currency switcher wherever we want. For example, here I've just added it in this sidebar area here, but technically we can also add it in a header section or any other location in which you're allowed to edit your website. Website. Another cool thing with this method that we'll be using is that it uses the MindMax integration, meaning it will get the customer's IP address and automatically serve customers the prices in their local currency. If you want to create a similar setup on your WooCommerce store, I'll leave a link in the description below to this particular plugin. And with that being said, let's get straight into it. All right, so the first thing we want to do is head over to plugins and then add new. We'll go ahead and search for multi-currency and we'll go ahead and install this particular plugin here by Undergo Systems. So I've already got it installed and activated. Now let's head over to WooCommerce and then WooCommerce, Multilingual and Currency. So the good thing about this particular plugin is that it allows you to sync your currency with the local language translation using, using the WPML plugin. So the first thing you need to do is just go ahead and enable this multi-currency option. Okay. And we'll set it to be based on the client's location again. So if you've purchased the WPML plugin, then you can basically tie the currency based on a site language. Okay. Since my store um, currency is in USD, we can go ahead and add a different currency here. Okay. For example, we can say pound sterling. And then we can choose where we want this currency to be available in. So we can just set it to all countries and then save. Or if you wanted to restrict it to certain countries, then you can do so. Okay, now we can enable automatic currency exchange rate and we can use any of these services here. All right, once you've selected a chosen service, so for example, if I click on this exchange rate API here, Okay, so here there's a free plan. So you get a thousand requests a month for free and then you can just sign up and get your API key. Once you've done so, you can enter in your API key here. All right, I'm just going to disable automatic updates for now. We can reorder the currency and we can add additional CSS as well. The good thing about this particular plugin as well is on the front end, we can allow customers to choose the particular currency in which they want to purchase in. So let's hit save changes and then let's view our shop page. So I should note that usually it gets the customer's location using the MindMax API key. But if I'm not mistaken, I've already got that activated on this website. I think that's why it's not asking us for the API key. So let's just quickly double check. So let's go settings and then we'll go integrations. Okay, yeah. So here I've already got this MaxMind API key and you can just click on this link and it's free to sign up and they'll give you an API key. So just make sure you enable it here okay because i do believe the plugin will need it to be able to determine the customer's location so let's view our shop page okay and here on the shop page we can choose the currency in which we want to shop in okay so that's working as expected let's head back over to our dashboard so on the widget switcher here again this function is kind of old school if we click on it here we've got the option to automatically add this widget switcher into a particular sidebar area but with how things are going with full site editing this kind of makes less sense so what i'm going to do is i'm going to exit this off click on the documentation okay and then scroll down and then we'll copy over this short code here and then now we can basically place the currency switcher wherever we want to place it. Okay, so for example, we can put it in the header section of our website. So let's view our website now. Or we can even add it in a sidebar section if your website supports that. Okay, so let's just click customize. Then I'm going to go widgets and then we'll go sidebar for code and then we'll paste in this short code here and then we can hit publish. OK, and here we've got our currency switcher sidebar. Of course, you'd want to place it um, most likely in the header section. But again, since the customization on this theme is limited, most likely you might be using a Divi theme or even Elementor or something like that. In that case, you'll have more control over where you can place the short code. Like and subscribe for more videos like this. And if you've got any questions, leave it in the comment box.